welcome, welcome back. This is Dip Out, the one and only. I'm here today to show you how to edit on your iPhone. Yup, cue music. Do you want to create some cool pictures like these? Well, homie, I got you. I got you, don't worry, don't trip. I know you're home and you're bored. I know, me too. Can't wear a hat right no more. This is my first tutorial and I'm here to show you how to edit on your iPhone and create some bomb diggity dong pictures. Yup, because I know you guys are so bored at home and have nothing to do, so why not play on your phone and actually create something? Ugh. I'm gonna have a little step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to use my favorite editing app on my iPhone and it's called Superimpose. Mm -hmm. And it's bomb and you're gonna love it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So you need to draw out your ideas. So that's the smartest thing to do. I'm open the app, let's get started. Top left, bam, then uh, pick color. This is your background color, so you're able to put pictures over this, you know? And give a little depth and interest, and then check mark when you're finished. Duh. And then uh, go ahead and just pick your photos. Better to make an album so you can find them all easy, easily. Ba -ba boom Eight pictures here for a start with my face. And I'm just gonna be like, taking away the backgrounds. So I'm gonna go there to the mask and then pre press the wand. And then I'm gonna zoom in with two fingers and then just start uh, selecting the solid colors because those are easiest to get rid of. Oops, I took out my skin tone right there on my hand. So I'm gonna press the little back arrow on the top left. Now I'm gonna easily just push my finger on there and drag it slowly so it like, I could do a little better job. Now I'm gonna go to the paintbrush. This is like when you have, when you wanna like manually delete the background, pretty much. And here you see that I accidentally erased my skin. So I'm gonna go right there down to mask again and press the eraser and press okay. And this is gonna re-erase like or put back my skin or whatever put back whatever I erased originally now I'm back in with the paintbrush and I'm just doing the do you know you got to zoom in really close just to get it perfect really like you don't want it to look cheap and I'm gonna switch over right here back to the wand because there's a solid space right there next to my cheek and go back to the paintbrush and just get rid of that bam Bam. And go to the house and press the up arrow that's saving it to the files on the app. Now, you know, now I can move on and I'm going to do the same thing for all of those pictures in my uh, album. So right here, I'm going to do it again and replace this picture with another one and start all over. Like I see, I see the um, go a little faster, obviously, but pretty much all I'm doing is using the same two as a paintbrush and a wand and just erasing everything and um, saving it bam now I'm gonna keep on doing this now next I'm gonna go do the fire because remember I drew all this out before so I know exactly what I need and um, it's not easy sometimes it does take some time I'm not gonna lie um, and I've been doing this editing, type of editing for at least a year, but really I haven't changed much from when I first started doing it. It's super easy for beginners. So there I am. It's all done and I'm going to save it. Ba bam save. And then I'm going to go ahead and just replace and just start all over again. And now I'm gonna do the fire. I wanna crop it, crop that little white part out on the bottom and choose it. Now, definitely I'm gonna um, I use the one and then I erase the background and then now I went in with the paintbrush and just, you know, get those little 
things I don't like. Then I'm just go ahead and save it. Easy as that. It was fast. It's, you know, it's good to start with a simple background. I did go on uh, Google and downloaded the images I thought would be best. And replace. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, the clouds. This is my favorite. So I'm cropping. And then I'm just doing outlining with the paintbrush. And then using a wand, trying to get it right just to get those like blue skies out of the picture and just, you know, just have the clouds itself. I made a little mistake, so go ahead and fill that in. Boom, boom, boom. Easy as that, you know. And this just. It does take some finesse to just get what you want. You really are the artist, so it's best when you have an image in your head that you know exactly what you want it to look like. And in my case, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I, I did and I drew it out and everything. So bam, I'm all done. Here are all the images. I didn't show you the water drop I did because I was at a PDA or PDF file or whatever. It was like, it was already cut out. Or no, MPG, I think that's what they called it. So now I'm gonna start all over. I'm gonna pick the actual background that I want. Bam, kind of blue skies. And then go ahead and start, press a down arrow and see. I'm just gonna start building off of those images that I had before. So I already know what order I'm gonna put it in and the uh, lightning has to go first. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna alter the color. So I'm gonna actually go into filter and then the top right. And right here, you can really play around the colors in many different ways. So I'm gonna change it to yellow. Then I want to make it more vibrant. So I'm gonna change, so you know, I'm just gonna play around right here real quick, you'll see. And this feature, I think it plays with like the hues of the color. Super easy. Playing around with the green hue. Bam, okay, I'm satisfied. No, I guess I'm not satisfied. I guess, uh, oh, am I satisfied? Oh, okay, now I wanna permanently add it onto the background, so I'm gonna merge and drop shadow. So I'm just gonna drop shadow and merge because I wanted to have a little depth to it. So I'll give a little shadow in the background. Super fun and easy way to make your pictures more interesting. And you could even change the color of the depth or the color of the shadow itself, I should say. So here I am just playing around with that real quick. To show you. And that looks way more interesting. And then it's saved and now I want to move on to the next image and now it's a cloud. So, you know, go right there to transform. You can like move it around and whatnot. Then I'm going to go to mass because, uh, actually no, I'm going to go to that. Yeah. Transform and then I'm going to turn it upside down. Cause I thought the clouds look way more realistic in this way upside down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and merge with a shadow. I don't really need to play around with it. It just looks perfect the way it was. Now the raindrops, like I said, raindrops are easy. Uh, I think I call it PNG file where the background was already cut out for me. So I really didn't have to do anything. But I did want to change the color so I went into the filter in you know, the top right, and then now I'm in FX and then just playing around with all those filters, just like how you get on uh, Instagram and whatnot. And it's supposed to be raining in this picture, so I'm doing a whole bunch of little raindrops real quick. Bam. Now I'm gonna go on to the smoke. Oh no, I'm gonna go on to my face actually. I'm gonna go into, I went into filter and FX and I'm changing around the color, you know, give my skin tone a little more realistic pop with some contrast and all that stuff. 
and then I'm gonna add a shadow and I'm gonna change the color of the shadow actually because I want it to be more interesting. I want it to pop. And you could always adjust the shape of the shadow. Okay, I'm good with that. Now I'm gonna add some uh, smoke. Yes, some smoke. Because I just, the last image I was gonna put is some fire. So I wanted the raindrops to be like dropping on the fire and then kind of um, outing it. And then what I did was I changed the um, transparency of the smoke so it looked like more realistic like smoke to me. And then I went ahead and got the fire, bam, and played with the intensity of the colors. And then I'm going to do a little shadow on the background. Yeah, burn. Okay. And then super easy, just like that. <laughs> then I'm gonna save it and into photos, into my phone, and then I'm all done. As simple as that. I couldn't ask for anything better. It's super easy, super fast, and super fun. And you can just look like a creative whiz every time. So please, try for yourself. Oh, and I, oop. Oh. So, you thank you again for checking out my first tutorial thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i i hope you enjoyed it if you want to check out all the pictures that i've created using this app please check out my instagram at d-i-p-p-o-u-t-m-o-n or at java tug j-a-v-a-t-u-g <laughs> i forget like and subscribe like and subscribe i'm gonna say that. like and subscribe like and subscribe so thank you again love you guys